In the meantime, let's move along to something that I know you're probably excited about. We're gonna give away one of our trivia answers. So basically, we got trivia coming up in 15 minutes. You're gonna have your chance at $500, and I'm gonna make it a little bit easier for you because I'm gonna give you the answer to question eight right now. So I'm gonna ask you question eight, you're gonna attempt to answer it, and then I'm gonna reveal the correct answer and what that is so you have it for today's game. All right, shall we do it? You feeling ready, thinking caps on? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Who was the mythic Greek known for shouting Nike? Who was the mythic Greek known for shouting Nike? Odysseus, Paris, Theodipides. That's pretty fun to say, you should try it. Odysseus, Paris, Theodipides. Who was the mythic Greek known for shouting Nike? Do we remember this story? I gotta say, there's something fun uh, learning all about the, the Greek gods and their mythology and stuff. I always really liked that when I was in school. I don't know if I would have gotten this one right though, but let's see how my displaybies are doing. Tap those answers. Don't again, don't don't be stressed. This this one's very low stakes. I mean, there aren't any stakes actually. <laughs> There's literally no stakes here, because uh, I'm gonna give you the answer. So we're looking for the mythic Greek known for shouting Nike. Okay, okay, majority of you who remembered this, bravo. Yeah, it's the one that I said was fun to say. It's Theodipides. Theodipides, uh, that's correct, 57% of you got it. Um, and yeah, the Theodipides basically ran, I think it was 26.2 miles, right? And then he finished and he shouted Nike, which means victory, I believe it is, in Greek. And there you go, that's basically the story there. And I don't know, is Nike the shoe brand named after this? Probably, right? I, I think that sounds like a good origin story. So if not, I just made that up, but it sounds, yes, Lauren says yes. Yeah, I mean, that would make sense, right? You run 26.2 miles, you shout Nike, and then bam, you have shoes on your feet, something like that. <laughs> a little less that, more the first thing that I said. Okay, bravo, Dr. KK Sharma, who got it right. Anybody else get it right? Yeah? Oh, thank you, Bent Carey. I'm looking very pretty today. What do I look the other days? That's what, I'm, that's what I wanna know. What do I look the other days when I'm not <laughs> just kidding? Um, Justin got it right. Capper seven, second day in a row. That question eight was about Greek mythology. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? Do we know our Greek mythology? Are we happy or are we like, maybe we should keep question eight about Greek mythology? Or are you like, nah, this is not my forte. Please change it up. Chico 99, if B got it. Yes, uh, amazing. Well, now you all have it. Now you all have the correct answer. So that's good. Now, again, a reminder, maybe you don't excel at the trivia, in which case there's another option for you to earn money here on display, and that would be by posting. Hello, everybody. Welcome to an all new game of display trivia live from New York City. I am your host, Sarah Priebus, and it is my pleasure to welcome you today. Maybe this is your first time with us. Maybe you're a loyal viewer. Well, it doesn't matter because display trivia is for everyone. In fact, display trivia gave me my life back. Thanks, display trivia. Oh, hold on. Oh, the lawyer said I need to read the fine print. Okay, yeah, okay, here we go. Display trivia should not be used while taking other medication. Do not play display trivia if you are allergic to display trivia. People who are pregnant or may become pregnant should avoid display trivia. Please consult a doctor if display trivia lasts longer than four hours. Serious but rare side effects could lead to prolonged excitement. Ask your doctor if display trivia is right for you. <sighs> wow, oh, I feel better already. Um, yeah, we should see if any of that has been evaluated by the FDA. Friends, the fine print is annoying, but you know what? We gotta go over it, which is why I'm gonna take this time to go over some rules. You'll have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions each. Really, it's just 10 seconds each. When a new question appears on your screen, choose carefully because once you tap, there is no going back. If you get one wrong, just keep playing. Hold your phone vertically for all the questions to appear and make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi. Your winnings will appear in your display bank account if you're actively posting and have a completed profile. All right, I think we're ready for a trial run. Would you rather drug facts, matter of fact, after the fact? Fact, 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 which fact? I mean, if you know the facts, then today's quiz is gonna be a breeze for you. And really that's, that's what matters most, isn't it? 
It is. You just got to know the facts to win this game. 65% of you tapped matter of fact. And as a matter of fact, I think it's time for us to get started. No tough pills to swallow here today, friends. It's time for Display Trivia. Who's feeling ready for today's game? We got Carly G here. We've got Bing Juno 19, Suchitra. Who else? Anybody feeling like this is uh, gonna be the one? This is gonna be the win? Woo, Chaz says, yes, I'm from Jersey, let's go. Amy Princess 77, Justin, Trevor Dell. All right, friends, I see you, I'm rooting for you. Let's do it. Question one. Which word has a double letter? Bubble, lax, mud. Which has a double letter? I mean, it's not quite a double bacon cheeseburger with fries, but we'll take it, we'll take it. And bubble letters are the only acceptable way to announce that you have a crush on someone. I'm not blushing, you're blushing. Uh, oh my gosh, my display bees. 92% of you got it. Question two. Someone of this profession would make a remix. Dentist, plumber, DJ. Who would make a remix? Do you know? Uh, also, warning, someone of this profession will talk your ear off about this profession and will never not be inviting you to their sets for the rest of your life. The only DJ I want to keep around is DJ Tanner. Hmm, 98% of you got it, dude. Question three. Comedian John Mulaney recently had a baby with Olivia Munn, Kate Upton, Cara Delevingne. Who's the mama? Mmm, celebrities. They're just like us. Except, you know, the money and the perfect skin and the lack of privacy. But birds do it, bees do it, even celebrities do it. And John Mulaney and Olivia Munn are no exception. They gave birth to their first child in November. And 94% of you are following the paparazzi because you're about to get that cheese. A few more to go, though. Question four. Snap, Crackle, Pop is a slogan for this brand. Coca-Cola, Rice Krispies, Bazooka. Snap, Crackle, Pop. Catchy. Um, so guys, don't call me crazy, but my cereal, it's been talking to me. Wait, yours too? Wait, what did yours say? Snap, Crackle, Pop? Wait, what? Mine told me to hide the money in the basement. Weird, okay, all right, well, you know, I've got to cool it with a Raisin Bran Crunch. Rice Krispies is the cereal that if you lean in real close, you'll hear why this is its slogan. Take my word for it, though. Don't lean in too close. That is a great way to get an earful of milk. 98% of you are popping off into question five. This artist was the lead singer of the Commodores. Lionel Richie, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye. Who was the lead singer of the Commodores? You got your lead singers, and you got your backup singers, but like, what about the normal middle ground singers, hmm? Like, we need more bands with regular Joe Schmoes just, you know, tapping their feet in time while the keys to their Civic gently shake in their khaki pockets. You know, I'm all about Joe Schmo representation, um, but Lionel Richie was no Joe Schmo, which is probably why he ended up breaking off from the band and having his own wildly successful solo career. No need for backup for 94% of you today. Killing it. Question six. Blockchain.com is a company known for creating crypto wallets, artificial intelligence, stock portfolios. Blockchain.com. Look. Blockchain.com may have created crypto wallets, but they sure as heck did not invent the Sarah Priebus special. Yeah, what? So what? This Sarah Priebus special is just a banana pancake with chocolate chips in the face of a smiley. You try making something so pure and delicious and good. 98% of you might have a little something to invest with by the end of this game. Alrighty. Question seven. 
This celebrity recently announced a partnership with Fisher Price. Lil Nas X, RuPaul, Ariana Grande. A new collab. Well, Fisher Price is known for their little people toys and they currently have collections for icons like the Golden Girls and Run DMC, but their newest release will feature some of drag superstar Ru Ru <laughs> RuPaul's most iconic looks. And it looks like 85% of you, Shantae, you slay. Question eight. Who was the mythic Greek known for shouting Nike? Odysseus, Paris, Pheidippides. Who shouted Nike? Nike in Greek means victory, but this person was just shouting out in disappointment when they learned Nike too had jumped on the NFT bandwagon. Nike, why? Why Nike, why? This is the phrase shouted by Pheidippides after running 26.2 miles and then performing an actual death drop, which I gotta say is iconic behavior. 94% of you nearing your victory, too. Only two more to go. Question nine. Zordon is a character from which TV franchise? Power Rangers, Pokemon, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Which TV franchise are we looking for here? Oh, Zordon, Zordon, hmm? Was the guy from Power Rangers? That's funny, because, uh, He's also the guy that took me out on an amazing date and then never texted me back. Yeah, well, you know what? Joke's on you, Zordon, because you're totally just a knockoff version of your older brother, the Wizard of Oz, and he and I, we are very happy. Very. This question really gave me that much-needed dose of 90s nostalgia, but it did deliver for 95% of you who are on your way into the final question. Question 10. The stone called a girl's best friend rates this on the most scale. Seven, 10, 14. Are you gonna get the last one? You're so close. No, the most scale's not a failed marketing scheme by that popular chain of Southwest grills to prove to people they had plenty of room in the bellies to order more queso. It is actually a scale that measures the hardness of a substance on a scale of one to 10. Talc measures at about a one, and then the hardest substance on earth, a diamond, clocks in at 10. Well, let's use the most scale to measure the hardness of this quiz. Was it difficult today or what? Last question, 79% of you got it, and is that enough for a win? Ooh, I'm gonna say this question was like a, a five on the most scale, maybe even more like talc, because we have five. 129 winners today. A little less than a dollar for all of you. Woo! Whittle Monkey got a seven. Who else got a win? Amy Princess, six out of 10. Dr. KK Sharma, nine out of 10. What else, friends? Did you come? I was gonna say, you came, you slay, you display. It doesn't work that way. Let's try that again. You came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge, and you are gonna get paid. Woo! I love it. Dr. KK Sharma, congrats. Oh, nine out of 10, missed one. Mama Sita won though, woo! Mama Sita, killing it. SR765 got a 10 out of 10. Favor got a six out of 10. Paul Tuck is just saying, good job, everyone. Good job. And to that I say, yes, good job. You showed up, you did the thing. 529 of you won, which is absolutely incredible. So bravo to you. If you need help, with, a, with another answer, right? You want me to give you an answer? Well, come to the pre-show. I give it away every single day early, 30 minutes prior to the show, so tune in tomorrow and grab that, and I'll see you back here tomorrow on display.